Welcome to History Tales, the channel that tells history. In this video, we will discuss one of the darkest events in human history, the slave trade. Together, we will discover the suffering and tragedies that millions of individuals faced along the slave route. Through this video, we will seek to understand the profound consequences and lasting impact of this inhumane system. The beginning of the slave trade in the 15th century marks the beginning of a dark and tragic chapter in the history of humanity. It was a time when the Portuguese, seeking cheap labor to support their colonies and plantations in the Americas, undertook their first expeditions along the coasts of Africa in search of slaves. The context of the time was characterized by intense competition between European powers for control of the trade routes and resources of the newly discovered lands. The Americas, with their fertile lands and rich natural resources, represented an unprecedented opportunity for economic and territorial expansion. However, to fully exploit these resources, a large amount of manpower was required. The Portuguese were among the first to venture along the coasts of West Africa, looking for slaves to use in their colonies and plantations. Initially, expeditions were mainly concentrated in coastal regions, where Europeans established trading posts and fortifications to facilitate slave trade with local chiefs and African kingdoms. The slave trade grew exponentially with the advent of the colonization of the Americas by European powers. The new colonies required enormous amounts of labor to cultivate plantations of sugar, cotton, tobacco, and other lucrative crops. African slaves, considered a cheap source of labor and easily available through trade with local Africans, became the preferred solution to meet this growing demand. The slave trade then became a key element of the European colonial system, fueling a cycle of exploitation and oppression that stretched from Africa to the Americas. This inhumane trade not only caused immense suffering for the individuals involved, but also had lasting consequences on the history and society of the regions involved. Ultimately, the beginning of the slave trade in the 15th century marks the start of a dark and shameful period in human history, characterized by exploitation, violence, and dehumanization. It is a chapter in history that reminds us of the importance of openly addressing the injustices of the past and working towards a more equitable and inclusive world for all. The motivations behind the slave trade throughout history were complex and multifaceted, but can be summarized in two main factors, the demand for cheap labor to support the economy of the European colonies, and racism, and the belief in cultural superiority and ethnic of Europeans compared to Africans. 1. Demand for Cheap Labor One of the main drivers of the slave trade was the growing demand for labor in the European colonies of the Americas, Latin America, and the Caribbean. Plantations of sugar, cotton, tobacco, and other crops required a massive, low-cost labor force to ensure economic viability. African slaves, considered an easily available and available resource, provided the ideal solution to meet this growing demand. The slave trade then transformed into a highly lucrative trading system that provided cheap, exploitable labor for plantation owners and colonial industries. 2. Racism and Cultural and Ethnic Superiority A fundamental motivation that justified the slave trade was racism and the belief in the cultural and ethnic superiority of Europeans over Africans. European colonizers viewed Africans as inferior, both culturally and biologically, and this belief led them to justify their exploitation and enslavement. This racist mindset provided moral and ideological legitimacy to the slave trade, allowing colonizers to perpetrate brutality and injustice against enslaved Africans without remorse or guilt. Furthermore, it should be noted that the slave trade was not only an economic phenomenon, but also a political and social one. The economic interests of European colonizers were closely linked to colonial politics and the social dynamics of the colonies. The slave trade thus helped it perpetuate and consolidate existing power structures, with landowners and colonial elites profiting from slavery and the slave trade at the expense of enslaved Africans. The motivations behind the slave trade were primarily economic and based on the belief in the cultural and ethnic superiority of Europeans. This inhumane system not only exploited African slaves for its own economic profit, but also helped perpetuate the racism and social injustices that still impact racial relations and power dynamics around the world today. The expansion of the slave trade during the 16th and 17th centuries 
represents a period of unprecedented growth and intensification of this inhumane system. During this historical period, the slave trade involved numerous European nations, including Portugal, Spain, England, France, and the Netherlands, who competed for control of the Atlantic trade routes and dominance over the colonies of the Americas. 1. Portugal Portugal was among the first European nations to engage in the slave trade, launching expeditions along the coasts of Africa as early as the 15th century. As its colonies expanded into Brazil and the Atlantic Islands, Portugal became a major player in the transatlantic slave trade, significantly contributing to the transportation of millions of Africans to the Americas. 2. Spain Spain also played an important role in the expansion of the slave trade, especially in its New World colonies, such as Mexico, Peru, and the West Indies. African slaves were employed on sugarcane plantations, silver and gold mines, and other colonial industries. 3. England In the 16th century, England began to take an active part in the slave trade, helping to build a vast colonial empire in the Northern Americas and the Caribbean. The English colonies depended heavily on African slave labor to produce sugar, tobacco, cotton, and other export goods. 4. France France also joined the race to control the Atlantic trade routes and colonies during the 16th and 17th centuries. Its colonies in the Antilles and North America, such as Saint-Domingue, modern Haiti, and Louisiana, were heavily dependent on African slave labor. 5. Holland Holland, known for its powerful trading company, the Dutch East India Company, played a significant role in the expansion of the slave trade. Dutch colonies in the East Indies and America, such as Suriname and the Netherlands Antilles, heavily used African slave labor to support their plantation-based economies. The expansion of the slave trade during these centuries led to the capture, sale, and transportation of millions of Africans across the Atlantic to the Americas. This inhumane trade not only led to immense profits for European colonizers and plantation owners, but also caused untold suffering for the individuals involved, shattering their lives and stripping them of their human dignity. This dark period in human history remains an open wound in the consciences of the nations involved, requiring a constant commitment to justice, memory, and reconciliation. The conditions of slave voyages across the Atlantic represent one of the most dramatic and tragic aspects of the transatlantic slave trade. These voyages were characterized by extreme overcrowding, widespread disease, starvation, poor sanitary conditions, and physical abuse, creating an inhumane and hellish environment for the slaves. 1. Overcrowding and Cramped Spaces On board slave ships, slaves were crowded into cramped, overcrowded spaces, devoid of any comfort or human dignity. The spaces were designed to house the maximum possible number of slaves, without any consideration for their well-being or safety. Slaves were forced to share small living spaces with hundreds of other individuals, making any form of movement or comfort impossible. 2. Precarious Hygienic Conditions The hygienic conditions on board the slave ships were disastrous. Slaves were forced to live in dirty environments, lacking fresh air and sunlight. Human feces, urine, and vomit accumulated on the floors of the holds, creating a fetid and unhealthy environment. The lack of hygiene favored the spread of infectious diseases such as smallpox, cholera, and dysentery, which took a heavy toll on slaves. 3. Diseases and Mortality The journeys across the Atlantic lasted months, and during this period the slaves were exposed to a series of diseases and pathologies caused by poor hygienic conditions, lack of nutrition, and the harassment they suffered. Many slaves died from infectious diseases, dehydration, malnutrition, and physical exhaustion. It is estimated that between 10% and 20% of slaves aboard slave ships did not survive the voyage, with mortality rate is particularly high during summer crossings, when conditions on board were even more extreme. 4. Physical Abuse and Violence Slaves were often victims of physical abuse and violence by the crew of slave ships. Sailors used whips, chains, and other instruments of torture to punish rebellious or disobedient slaves, 
inflicting pain and humiliation. The slaves were forced to submit to the draconian rules of their captors, suffering bloody punishments for even the slightest infraction. Slave voyages across the Atlantic represented a living nightmare, an experience characterized by suffering, desperation, and dehumanization. The inhumane conditions aboard slave ships not only caused the deaths of millions of individuals, but also left an indelible mark on the history and conscience of humanity, reminding us of the cruelty and injustice inflicted on African slaves during the slave trade transatlantic. Once they arrived in the Americas, African slaves were exploited in various economic sectors to support colonial expansion and the prosperity of colonial economies. Their work was crucial to the economic development of the colonies and the creation of immense fortunes for colonial landowners and entrepreneurs. Here is a more detailed analysis of slave labor in the Americas. 1. Agricultural Plantations Agricultural plantations were the main industry in which African slaves were employed. Plantations of sugar, cotton, tobacco, coffee, rice, and other agricultural crops dominated colonial economies in the Americas. Slaves were forced to work hard in the fields under the scorching sun, without sufficient rest, and often without any protection against the elements. Their work contributed to the production of raw materials essential for international trade and the economic growth of the colonies. 2. Mining African slaves were also employed in mines where they extracted gold, silver, copper, and other precious metals. The mines of the Americas were extremely dangerous and slave labor was extremely harsh and unsafe. Slaves were forced to work in extreme conditions, exposed to the risk of collapses, accidents and respiratory diseases caused by mining dust. 3. Domestic and Craft Work African slaves were also employed in domestic work in the homes of landowners and colonial elites. They carried out tasks such as cooks, waiters, gardeners, and carried out artisanal work such as carpentry, tailoring, and the manufacture of furniture and household objects. These slaves were often considered privileged compared to those employed on plantations or mines, but were still subjected to harsh treatment and often physical violence. 4. Construction and Infrastructure African slaves were also employed in the construction of colonial infrastructure such as roads, bridges, public buildings, and fortifications. Their work contributed to the creation of the foundations of the colonies, allowing territorial expansion and colonial control over the newly conquered territories. Slave labor in the Americas not only contributed to the economic development of the colonies, but also provided the basis for the creation of immense fortunes for landowners, entrepreneurs, and colonial elites. This inhumane and systematic exploitation of African workers was the basis of the slave system of the Americas, causing suffering, dehumanization, and ongoing socio-economic inequalities that persist today. The cultural and social implications of the slave trade represent one of the most devastating and lasting consequences of this inhumane system. The slave trade not only caused extreme physical suffering to the individuals involved, but also led to profound dehumanization and cultural destruction of African communities and the slaves themselves. 1. Dehumanization of slaves. African slaves were considered little more than commodities by slaveholders and landowners. They were deprived of their fundamental rights and human dignity, treated as worthless objects that could be bought, sold and used at will by their masters. This dehumanizing attitude helped justify the physical abuse, violence and cruelty inflicted on slaves without any sense of guilt or remorse on the part of their tormentors. Two. Cultural Destruction The slave trade also led to the cultural destruction of African communities and the slaves themselves. Slaves were torn from their homelands, their families, and their cultural traditions, thus losing the connection with their roots and identity. The cultural practices, languages, religions, and traditional knowledge of African slaves were often banned or supplanted by the dominant cultures of European colonizers, contributing to the irreparable loss of their cultural heritage. 3. Forced Assimilation African slaves were often subjected to a process of forced assimilation, forced to adopt the customs, languages, and traditions of their colonial masters in order to survive and integrate into colonial societies. This coercive process not only undermined their cultural identity, but also made them more vulnerable to exploitation and oppression 
by their oppressors. 4. Traumatic Legacy The effects of dehumanization and cultural destruction caused by the Slav trade persist today in African and Afro-descendant communities around the world. This traumatic legacy manifests itself in forms of structural racism, socioeconomic inequalities, marginalization and discrimination that continue to impact the lives and opportunities of those descended from enslaved Africans. The memory of the slave trade therefore serves as a warning against injustice and discrimination in all its forms, requiring an ongoing commitment to justice and reconciliation. The end of the slave trade occurred in different phases in various parts of the world. However, the commonly accepted date for the official end of the transatlantic slave trade is March 25, 1807, when the British Parliament passed the Act for the Abolition of the Slave Trade. This law prohibited the slave trade in the British Empire and its colonies. The abolition of the slave trade represents a major turning point in human history, marking the recognition of the barbarity and injustice perpetrated through this inhumane system. Although the official abolition of the slave trade occurred during the 19th century in several nations, the path towards the liberation of slaves and the effective cessation of slavery was a long and complex process, marked by struggle, resistance, and sacrifice. The United Kingdom was one of the first nations to take legislative action to end the slave trade. In 1807, the British Parliament passed the Act for the Abolition of the Slave Trade, which banned the transatlantic slave trade. This law marked a significant turning point in the fight against the slave trade and inspired abolitionist movements around the world. The abolition of the slave trade represents one of the most significant moments in the history of the struggle for human rights and human dignity. Although it was officially abolished in several nations during the 19th century, the practice of slavery continued to persist in many parts of the world, often until relatively recently. Its consequences persist today, manifesting in race relations, economic and social inequalities, and geopolitical tensions. However, the memory of the slave trade must not be forgotten. Rather, it must serve as a warning against injustice and discrimination in all its forms. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave us a like and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated on our next videos, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. See you soon on History Tales.